Warning, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are advised that this video may include images and voices of people who have passed away. Exercise can make you feel healthier and happier. Exercise can help you to lower your blood glucose levels, lose weight, lower your blood pressure, lower your cholesterol, and build a stronger heart and lungs. Talk to your doctor before you start exercising and make an exercise plan. There are many different types of exercise you can do. Moderate activity involves some effort, but you can still comfortably talk while you do it. It includes walking, cycling, dancing, water aerobics, swimming and housework. Vigorous activity involves more effort and makes you breathe harder and faster. Examples of vigorous exercise include fast cycling, fast swimming and jogging or running. You can choose between moderate or vigorous activity. 10 minutes of vigorous activity is equal to 20 minutes of moderate activity. You can combine moderate and vigorous activities to help you reach your exercise goals. For good health, aim for 30 minutes of moderate activity or 15 minutes of vigorous activity on at least five days of the week. For greater health benefits, try doing 60 minutes of moderate activity or 30 minutes of vigorous activity on at least five days of the week. This can help prevent cancer and unhealthy weight gain. Stretching, including activities like Tai Chi and bowling, can be done every day. You can also do balancing activities like yoga, balancing on one leg, or chair exercises every day. Strength activities are important to help you stay strong and healthy. Examples of strength activities include weight training, squats, and resistance training. Aim to do strength activities at least twice a week. You can break up planned exercise throughout the day. Try 10 minute blocks, three times a day. Try to spend less time sitting and move as much as possible. If you can't do much exercise, talk to your doctor about exercise you can do safely. These may include walking or chair exercises. Things you do every day, like gardening or housework, are also types of physical activity and are a great way to keep active. To make activity more enjoyable, you can exercise with a friend, family member or pet. Before you exercise, make sure you have all the things you need, such as a hat, sunscreen, sunglasses, a raincoat, sport shoes, socks, an umbrella, your diabetes identification, a water bottle, as well as hypo food if needed. Check your blood glucose level. Stretch your muscles. Check your feet for changes or problems. And look and feel inside your shoes for anything that might hurt your feet. Stop exercising if you feel faint, have pain, or feel short of breath. Talk to your doctor before you exercise again. 
you can have a hypo if you're taking insulin or certain diabetes tablets. A hypo is a blood glucose level of less than four, even if you feel okay. If you have a hypo, you might feel shaky, dizzy, sweaty, weak, tired, have blurred vision, or become upset, moody, or hungry. If you have a hypo, stop exercising and check your blood glucose level if you can. Eat or drink some sugar, such as six or seven regular jelly beans, or 150 mils of regular soft drink, which is about half a can. Recheck your blood glucose level in 10 to 15 minutes if you can. If it is still less than four, eat or drink some more sugar. If your blood glucose level is four or more, eat some carbohydrate food, such as a piece of fruit or half a sandwich, or have your next meal. Don't begin exercising again until you feel better. There are some important things to do after you exercise. Make sure you check your blood glucose level. Drink water. And remember to check your feet for any blisters or redness. You can record the type of activity and number of minutes spent per session in an exercise logbook. This is a great way to track your activity and help you meet your exercise goals. Talk to your doctor regularly about exercise and tell your doctor or diabetes educator if you have had a hypo. Remember to break your exercise up throughout the day. Be active in different ways and have fun. If you have diabetes and you have a Medicare card, you can join the National Diabetes Services Scheme, which is also known as the NDSS. Your NDSS card will let you buy certain diabetes products cheaper anywhere in Australia. Joining the NDSS is easy and free. Ask your doctor or credentialed diabetes educator to help you or visit www.ndss.com.au. To speak to a diabetes nurse educator, dietitian, or advocacy officer from Diabetes Victoria, call 1300 136 588. If you need an interpreter, call 1300 801 164. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people can call 1300 Koori, which is 1300 566 743. These phone services are free for Victorians. We are here to help you.